dead that you would be Klitschko. Well, how could I be Klitschko if you can't beat Chisora? It's like stars make fights. You were open, I felt that you were open to, uh, a short guy, you were open to yoga and right. And you got dropped by Pajic, you got dropped by Cunningham, and it was by the same punch as the overhand right and you were taller. So yeah. you, you didn't see the overhand right. And you said to me that you were going to make a change. Which you did, you boxed Southpaw, you turned Southpaw, which took away the right hand. And you said to me on the oh, night, I said, so you changed your swap. How could I be Klitschko if you can't beat Chisora? Because I thought you had vulnerability to short guys. I think you've won so therefore, fight. you know nothing about boxing. Well, it's not. It doesn't know anything about boxing because I also said that David Price <laughs> would get beat by a southpaw. He ended up getting beat by a southpaw. It wasn't Audrey Harrison because he couldn't get out of the way of the straight, right, straight left hand. So it wasn't I don't know about boxing. I've got it wrong. So because I got it wrong doesn't mean I don't know about boxing. Yes, it does. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? But hold on. After, after I already beat him before. <laughs> yeah, but you got. But the thing was, my, my thinking was, you got dropped by Cunningham, right? Yeah, Cunningham. Chisora ain't no Cunningham. Though, I is know it? you said that, but I said the overhand right was what. I, 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 the overhand right is, and that was before you were boxing this discipline that you're boxing yeah, now. Before. The boxing, what you box now is very different to the way you were big, boxing. The big difference from beginning to being on a world level. Oh, absolutely. At the time he was doing that, he was on no world level. Absolutely. He's starting out his career as a novice. Yes, I agree. So I got it wrong. But they I did say... Chisora second time, he was no novice. No, that's true. But by the, t by the time the Klitschko fight came out, I said you'd beat Klitschko. How, though? How was it possible to beat that guy? Did you beat Klitschko? I did, but how that's was it, it possible? How was it possible? Because I said, I said first of all, you get inside uh, Klitschko's mind. I said, Klitschko is weak mentally. Mm. Well, and then I said, when I looked at Klitschko and I saw him shaving the sides of his head, I said, you know what? Tyson's got to. Tyson got to. And then when he did the whole thing about the Batman thing, I said, you know what? I really got to. Because you, you came to England and you basically um, psychologically destroyed me by that. That's what I thought. Because you were like saying to Klitschko, I do what I want. It's my country. I run the show. I'm the big one. I'm the big man here. You know and what Klitschko, I think? that's it. I think Klitschko just got unboxed. I think he was done mentally. I don't. Yeah, he was. He got man, who, man who can go 12 rounds, yeah. he ain't mentally good. He tried everything. When you look at Klitschko in that fight, in his previous fights, he done as good in that fight, if not better. He raised his game because he was a lot better in the fight with him than what he was against uh, Jennings. He raised his job completely. Yeah, exactly. That was oh, the best yeah. Klitschko you'd see. Yeah, but I don't understand. He, he couldn't get away with a mental stuff. Even so, Klitschko, but I, very, very close. I believe Klitschko and the whole canvas thing he's been doing for a long time. I believe, in my opinion. I think that the canvas thing, if you go back and look at when Vitali fought um, Salinas and the canvas there and the way he damages, he twisted his, his knee on that, that fight. And then you look at the fight uh, Pulev had. Pulev's the guy that gets in and out, in and out. And it's like that he's stuck in mud. Yeah, he, couldn't himself, move. he couldn't move. Probably right about so I'm thinking about the canvas. So the canvas was the same because that's uh, Vitali. Exactly. So my thoughts are, and then Vitali's like, no, no, this canvas is fine. So I'm thinking the whole history of the clinch goes. Especially for well, both of them, there's a question mark over them. The mind games didn't come into it, I'll tell you why. They play mind games and they get away with it with many. But with him it wasn't possible. So basically, the mind games he knew didn't work. He tried the mind games and he failed. But that doesn't mean to say he was any less of a person. Because he just realised, now I'm up against it. Now all the fiddling around, all the mind games haven't worked. Now I'm, I'm in a fight. But if, you've been, what he but if you've been doing that for five, ten years, you're setting a pattern of how you do things. He's very much a robot. He does everything that by the book and very much in control. That was taken away from him as soon as you guys got involved. That was taken away from him. That whole control in every house, in a press conference, you all do as I say, okay. you sit down. What do you make, let me give you some psychology right now. Okay. What do you make of the press on the fingers on the, on the showing you the training camp? I, I, to me, by him doing all that stuff, the diagnosis of that. for me, I believe that, again, Klitschko was rattled by you guys. I really do think he was rattled. I do. And you do things differently. Why does a man go and shake the side of his hair because you say he's getting older? You, that you was common the knowledge that he did do that. Because I said, look, you're going grey-headed. And, <laughs> <laughs> and he wants to shake the side of his hair. <laughs> yeah, so you got into it. You got into his head. I, I thought it was what well, I felt like you got into it. And the, the morning you went down there and, and changed the mat, and um, with that, with the mat and also the hills and stuff like that, he, he, he completely broke down. He, he, but, he, but he didn't mean he was a bad fighter. Video, he's six inches taller than me. Yeah, yeah, we we, yeah, we recognised that as well. And didn't they adjust the weights as well? Yeah. So why would you do all these things? This is the man that loves control. 
Yeah, but you, you beat him. You beat him. I, I think really? you beat him at his best. You still beat and him at his best. And the worst thing about it is when you beat him, you put your hands down to your side and put your hands behind your back. Oh and yeah, that was. Him on. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. destroys a man. Roy Jones, isn't it? Roy Jones, you know. How does Gus Grab come back from that? You beat me. You put your hands behind your back and looked at me. And every time you have to go back and look at that tape, he has to see it. He's got, he's got no way back. Let me ask a question quickly before Tyson. Let me change the subject real quick. Yeah, no, no. Yeah? All right, so EJ Boxing Live here with Tyson, Gypsy King, Fury. Uh, so Tyson, uh, tell me, we were talking earlier on about uh, Lucas. Yeah. And you were saying about, obviously, when you went over find the Klitschko with the waters and stuff. But that was that was very, you know, what did you, how did you guys think of the idea of that when you was going there that you needed to bring your own water and food and stuff like that? Did you know like, we know boxing. You know what goes on behind the scenes. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a dangerous sport. You know, if people want to win, they'll do anything to win. So, At that level, yeah. Um, so you, we were talking about Lucas. So you've, Lucas, as far as you can say, you've met him, you talked to him, you believe he's innocent. Um, you believe that there's been some chicanery, some skullduggery going on. I do. I do believe that. I believe something, something's went on there because I don't think Lucas is the type of man to take any drugs or anything like that. He's a natural big man anyway. Um, so yeah, I, don't, I believe he's innocent. I believe some, something's gone on, some skullduggery behind the scenes. I, I felt it was like that as well. Straight after he, he put the celebrating, someone put a Mickey in his drink in the hotel or something like that. Because I heard he, he remember after the fight, he was saying he'd done a bit of celebrating. Yeah. So maybe someone might have put something into his, uh, maybe something, isn't it, in his drink. Yeah, but that wouldn't work. somebody. Huh? somebody who's very clued up in yeah? Mm -hmm. They reckon it's up to 14 days for that to get in the bloodstream by consuming it orally. Okay, 14 days. That's from a professional body. Well, how long? It's about 14 days after the fight. They, 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 um, it came yeah, out. Hold on a minute, yeah. yeah. It can't have, it couldn't no? have happened in the celebrations because no. he was drug tested immediately after the fight. He took his set sample then. Don't, they don't take it two days later. You follow it from the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do you reckon? So, when do you reckon it was taken before the fight? Somewhere you know, let's, let's, get, yeah. let's get your story properly now. You follow from the ring. You're yeah. not allowed to do anything. Yeah. He's with you, watching you, you won't leave you you in the toilet. So, you, you're not separated. So, mm. what I'm saying to you, that theory about taking it after the fight is nonsense. Okay. Yeah. Well, anything you got. Before, who knows? But orally, it's not possible. The way that's going in the bloodstream is injected or uh, pills over a long period of time, according to professional bodybuilders. Okay. Hey, cool. listen. Go. All right. Um, one more thing. Um, so, when everyone wants to know when you're going to go back in there with um, Vladimir, when's that sorted? No idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Do you reckon he wants it? Do you reckon he wants it? He put a statement out just to say that they want a rematch, but they don't really want it. No, Trying think, to mess I you think, around? I think they want it. I think the fight will happen again. Too sure it might happen right behind us where we are right now. It possibly happen in Wembley. Hopefully, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? It would. Be, yeah, it would. Definitely be a big event. Yeah. All right then. Thanks, Tyson. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Peter, no and the rest of the family, man. Take care.